This your boy Big Creep. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. A DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. Special guest in the building, Secret the Boss. What up? Yes, sir. How What's you doing? Going on? Hey, I feel like I ain't seen you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. You what, have fuck, it. what the fuck you been at? I've been in Jamaica. <laughs> this nigga out of here. Yeah, I started a restaurant actually though. I know, yeah, I know, you I got know. Congrats on I, know. I gotta get some of that. Hey, you know what's crazy? You told me you say I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Jamaica. I'm gonna start a restaurant. This is like. Ooh. Couple months after you gave me a song, right. you know what I'm saying? So it just kind of threw me off. I ain't really, I ain't believe it. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't believe. It. I ain't. I was like, ah, everybody be capping. Like, like, yeah, like capping. All right, cool, whatever. You go, go ahead and disappear for a while. I thought maybe you gonna go sit down or some shit. You right, know? go turn myself. In. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going too far. Make sure you introduce yourself to the people for the ones that don't know. Let them know who you are, where you from. Hey man, you already know what it is. That girl secret, aka secret, the boss. Fuck with it, cost man. In the building with K Y S A T L representative. What you heard? Hometown. So being from Atlanta, how yeah. do you feel? Like a lot of people, it's like a mixed feeling for a lot of people because Atlanta's like grown yeah, in the last it's changed. five, six, or well, ten years. I give it ten. Right. Like last decade, this, this shit has changed. Like, yeah. and you watched it. Being right. from here, watch everything. Um, I feel like I mean it's cool because you get more opportunity, like mm-hmm. especially with the movie market stuff mm-hmm. like that. Entertainment that's always gonna be in Atlanta, but I feel like um, some of the shit they go on is too sketchy, too like too much <laughs> it's bullshit Atlanta. going it's on. Atlanta. Right? Give it, yeah. give it what it's, it's due. It's Cap Atlanta. Right. I love Atlanta. But the captain is at Man, all time Man, too many high. Bow Wow challenges. I swear. <laughs> I, swear. <laughs> I see it every day. Hey. Every I, day. Yeah. No. Yeah. Be, especially being that, in the club. Yeah. Other than well, that, it's cool. It's yeah. cool. What um? So what 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 do you have going on? Because you know, like we spoke on it a little bit. You are an artist. That's how I met you. Right. Uh, and you're also an entrepreneur. Yeah. You have a business in another yeah, country. Right, it's international <laughs> and the apartment and everything. Like, oh, you live my out whole there? whole life, yeah. When I go out there, I go out there for maybe a couple months. I probably go maybe for the summer for a mm-hmm. couple weeks, then come back and forth. Like, so, you have other people out there running the business? Um, actually, I closed it right now until okay. I get back. But once I get back, I just got to mm-hmm. find somebody that I really, you know, going to trust and yeah. that's going to do it right. Okay. But yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. You know, then I can come back and forth. I'm telling you that. It's amazing. <laughs> and they would like leave from here, go to Jamaica, come back, make some American money, then go back to Jamaica. And it's cheap out there. What? Man, she sounding like the American dream right Man, now. You I'm got a whole vacation spot. Right. I'm telling you, and you can make money there. You can get no better than so that. What, so what made you go to, first of all, what made you go to Jamaica? Why Jamaica? Uh, My mom actually wanted to go. I took her because okay. she had, we were going to Mexico, but she wanted to go to Jamaica, check it out. Mm. So we went, Um, kind of ended up being the flute. Mm. Right, meeting the right people because I didn't even know like anybody out there, and I ended up linking with uh, one of the biggest families out there. Okay, and so they had property in Ocho Rios. Mm-hmm. We networked, got in with them, and yeah. it went from there. And so you, and, and spur what? the moment, really. And that's just having Investment. money on hand. Yeah. <laughs> that's, right. that's all right. Right. But um, so so, what kind of business do you run out there? Uh, it's a restaurant, so um, I do American classics mm-hmm. um, for, like, the Jamaican locals and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, hamburgers, french fries, chicken strips, chicken nuggets, all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. But then also have um, Jamaican dishes. Okay. The traditional ones like brown stew chicken, mm-hmm. uh, curry chicken, all that kind of stuff, rice and peas. To me, it sounds like you went out there and made your own uh, American deli with a little. Hey, you right though. Twist. I'm telling you, it's just it's the same thing. It hey, literally is hey, it's the same thing. Hey, I, we was talking about it the other day. I was like, that's probably the most ingenious. Like, what in the fuck? You go to another country and say, <laughs> y'all niggas ain't got burgers and wings, right? Hey. Let's get bring that shit stop. up. <laughs> bring that shit up. Hey, they ain't got no American deli over here, man. Man, what? They got, uh, let's see, in Ultra Rios. Number one, my restaurant right on the strip. Mm-hmm. So everybody got to walk in uh, the cruise ships when they port. Oh, it's on. Right. It's like the tourist strip. Yeah. Okay. And it's um, it's not just the Jamaican locals. It's Europeans as well. Okay. So I'm gonna catch you know everybody that come in. Mm-hmm. But um, they only have a Burger King and a KFC, a Pizza Hut, and probably uh couple of Jamaican food places. Other than that, 
It's no burgers and fries like that. No McDonald's. I think they had one on the island back in the day, like in mm. the 90s. Mm. But no McDonald's, no nothing like that. And definitely not like a spot we can get real yeah. American food. So you so you, so you, you went there and you was like, damn, I want a burger. What? I That's was what like, you said. Yes. I, I like want some, some wings. wings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who, got the, who got the hot lemon pepper sprinkle? Where is that? Nobody. Everything got the Jamaican twist to it. Mm. So it's all going to taste like the same. And, you, and you went out there and said... Yes. Man, hey, look, man, if you want to start a franchise on these islands, <laughs> man, I'm going to definitely uh, hey, want to end on that. I <laughs> think I could probably the do that. smartest shit. For Ocho's real. Rio's name, what's the name of the business? Secrets Jamaican Bar and Grill. Secrets Jamaican Bar and Grill. Bar and Grill. Look yep. at this shit. And I promote my music in the whole thing. Of course, like, of course. The whole I mean, that's theme a, that's, is music. Yeah. That's a, that's, that, I mean, it, would, it wouldn't go any other way. You know right. what I'm saying? You got to bring it back to the music. But that is uh that's actually super fucking dope. Um, I you. applaud you because there's not Appreciate too that. many people who go to another country and right. you know set Start up shop. That, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas is going on vacations and taking selfies and shit. Man. And it's crazy because I remember you was like, yo, I'm going out there, and it was like, I'm gonna be here for a while. And it was mm-hmm. like, the fuck you got going no, on? I was lying. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh, she capping, she capping, cap alert, cap nope. alert. <laughs> Nah, I'd be secret. straight up, yeah. Like That's for real. Though. I um eventually want to do like a food truck here. Mm. Same type of deal. Same type yeah. of yeah. You know, that'd be hard though. Like yeah. especially here because you know, Atlanta's really known for food. Like a lot, a lot of food shit is going on right. down here. And I kind of I can appreciate that shit. And you know, our people need to put more hands on on shit. Like Atlanta's known for like black entrepreneurship, but like I think. To level it up would be super fucking dope. Yep, especially like the younger generation. Yeah, most coming, definitely. Everybody seems like they get established a little bit later in life. Yeah. I'm, so yeah. give a little vibe. Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, I can, I can, I can attest to that. I mean, not all of them, but some of them. No, not the majority. I mean, but that, that, you know, that goes back to maturity and mm-hmm. actually learning the businesses that you put your hands in and all that extra shit. So yeah. I can understand it. So getting back to the music, though, like. um what were some of your influences, like, to even jump into the game, especially as a female? Yeah. Um, I definitely would have to. I, I know, like, Aaliyah, mm-hmm. um, not even just the swag, okay. the image, the okay. type of, like, artists in general. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely Missy. Uh, definitely the brat, just being from Atlanta. Um, okay. I got to like the brat. Uh, <laughs> it's like a I have to right <laughs> right I mean but I like like Mia X I mm-hmm. like you know different ones it depends on really the song and stuff like that but as far as like male influences uh, definitely like Gucci definitely like Jeezy T.I. What part of the town what part of the uh, what side of town you from west side west side yeah. west side Atlanta okay what was the west yes, side like growing up um I mean like paint this was, a picture let's see I say apartments <laughs> all the time. <laughs> uh, going to Six Flags all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, just being out in the streets playing, you okay. know, like it wasn't like nothing really major. Yeah. I ain't really have to, you know, like my mom kind of kept a leash on us. Okay. So I ain't really get into too much. Oh, but yeah. yes, I mean, you still had a little street, the street shit that you dabble in and mm-hmm. all that stuff. But other than that, I just kind of. I mean, I was always real studious. Yeah. Like, you see how my brain works. I mean, you got to be. Yeah, I mean, I it, it shows. Trying, right. Trying to get more. Uh, I was trying to make money. Mm-hmm. Trying to be a boss. Yeah. Like, basically. Secret the motherfucking boss. Right. I ain't mad at that. And and is is a bunch of y'all. It's a whole bunch um, of y'all. Siblings wise. One of each. I got a sister and a brother. Okay. Younger sister, older brother. Oh, so you're in the middle. Yeah. How was that? Man, it's really true that you get like a middle child <laughs> syndrome for real. <laughs> but you the only child or something? Me? Yeah. Nah, hell no. How many I, you got? Oh, uh, shit. It's a whole bunch of us. I got one, two, three sisters, an older oh, brother. Damn. I'm in the middle, though. Okay. Like, Somewhat. So you know, like a little bit with the middle. Well, I mean, I guess you got to be the baby a little bit, but no, never. Mm-mm. Well, see, the middle child. That's like you get the middle child syndrome. You always. It's like you want to do more, do mm-hmm. other stuff other than because you know the baby get what they get, yeah. the, the, the oldest, oldest get what they get. Yeah. So you kind of like fighting, <laughs> yeah, trying to get some. So I just you know I always try to focus on my future yeah. and the next step and all that kind of stuff. So so. Being a middle child, did it, like, fuel something in you? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I always wanted to, like, I say, 
I went to University of Tennessee. So whenever I was in seventh grade, that's when I picked that school to go to and actually ended up going there. So it's always Why? made me. Um, Pat Head Summit. I played basketball oh, okay, and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. I didn't know you played but, um, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like hooping. But, um, yeah, like pretty much, I guess uh, – I say, like, if I set a goal, like, I wanted to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. College had to be, you know, yeah, like, yeah. top priority just because yeah. I ain't see, you know, no other kind of ways of doing whatever. Um, especially, you know, trying to live the type of lifestyle I wanted to. Yeah. I ain't want to be, shit, going from pillar to post. <laughs> Yeah, living in my car and shit like that. Like, I know you got to go through the struggle, but if you ain't Fuck got to. Struggle, right. Man. If you Fuck ain't got the to, struggle, then, man. you know. But other than that, um, being the middle child just made me know how to cooperate with people better. Yeah. Deal with personality. So, okay. it's a blessing okay. and a curse. <laughs> 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 You'll get all that attention like everybody else. But yeah. But, I mean, cool. I think sometimes that attention, like, the lack of attention kind of makes you fight a little more for You're whatever right. it is you trying to get to. Because. I, I didn't really, I'm not going to say I didn't get a chance. Like, I didn't even, I grew up in a different situation. But I, th I think the lack of attention made me, like, find myself. Yeah, you know I agree with that. I agree with that. So, music-wise, yeah. what, can, what, what can people expect to hear from A Secret, The Boss? Oh, what, what, what are we coming with? Well, first, I've been pushing uh, my new single, Yeah, That Way. Uh-huh. Um, been pushing that. And I got one that's coming with trouble. Okay. It's called like definitely. Like, like and, and and you're not new. Nope. But you're not like super established. Right. Right. How is it that we can get trouble records this early in the game? <laughs> I think it's just uh, all like good timing and positioning, networking, knowing mm -hmm. the right people because that was kind of like a fluke situation too. It's like right place, right time you, type stuff. You just seem to always be in a fluke situation. Right, man. And I don't even plan it. <laughs> or maybe I do on like, maybe it's subconsciously just or something. Maybe it's yeah. just destined. You're right. But um, shout out to Trouble, DT, Duct Tape. Oh, um, definitely. Bit Bank. But um, Trouble, you know, that's like one of my homies. So okay. he looked out and okay. I had to put something together, you know. And hey, I found out, hey, hey I could. Hey, I think I want to do a, uh, yeah, that way remix and put Dro on it. That'll be hard. Yeah. That'll that's be hard. That'll be hard. So, so um, I'm hearing talks on. Distribution. You got distribution? Um, yeah, I'm with priority actually. Okay. But okay. um, you know, it's it's non exclusive, so yeah. I can, you know, do, do what, what you I do. Need to, yeah. yeah. That hard. How did that come about? <sighs> Shout out to Stay Fresh, ATL. Shout out yeah. to Stay Fresh, my man. Stay fresh, he he the plug. He yeah. put me in a situation. Yeah. And we went out to LA, solidified everything and then went from there. But how did um, how was that how was that whole scenario like? Um, let's see. Actually, I would say I went to Peaches mm. and uh, end up, I was dealing with Easy. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Big up, Easy. Yeah, shout out to Big Easy. He ended up uh, telling me about Stay Fresh mm -hmm. and was saying like, oh, he got some little situations he trying to blah, blah, mm -hmm. and set me up with him. We talked. Everything fit. Um, yeah. He liked what he heard. I liked what I heard. And then, hey, we booked the flight. Went to Capitol Records. That's all right. Yeah. So, like, how was, what was that, what was that feeling, though? Like, it was like, okay, cool. I hear you, this Caplana. Right. I hear you, you know, talking. I was, I was suspicious of everything, every step. <laughs> I'm like, man, I swear, like, don't get my hopes up. Yeah. Man. You know, I yeah, yeah. did all this stuff. But, honestly, um, it felt real good. Like, it felt like some something was being accomplished. Okay. And I think, like, I feel like progression with the music. Mm. I trust the process. I like the networking all that stuff but i know you know as time goes you work more and stuff mm -hmm. like that the progression will come i think i think um and 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 that's crazy because like just to speak on peaches a little bit like to be such an underrated club yeah i've gotten a lot accomplished out of there see you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah. You, and you keep it rocking the, in there hey, like everybody shout out show that up shameless hey, plug, you right. know what i'm saying <laughs> but um i just think a lot of like a lot of people will come in like to just chill, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it'd be like some heavy hitters in there that could you really right. make some. You know what I'm saying? So shout out. Yeah, to Yeah, it's them a nice they, balance. It's yeah, a nice I balance. Think, at I Peaches. think they do their thing over there. Shout yeah, out to them. real underrated. Yeah, for I real. think so too. I just found out actually that uh, my cousin uh, on my mom's side, her baby daddy actually owns Peaches. <laughs> Didn't even know that. <laughs> Didn't even know Shout that. Shout out to your cousin, baby mama, <laughs> uncle, cousin, goddamn it. Right. 
That's crazy. Yeah, oh, never even knew it. Damn, so they they almost should like let you in there for free. Man, what? <laughs> No, I gotta. I'm at the meet him. Hey, hey, nah, I'm just fucking out. secret the motherfucking ball. So, um, I want to get into what we're gonna do. Yeah, that way first. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. yeah that way first. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, that way. It's a song I came up, um, came up with just like sitting around, see how we, you know, how the lingo go in Atlanta. Everybody pretty much, you can tell who from Atlanta based on how they talk, you know. So, uh, yeah, that way, that's just something that we say. Like, everybody's like, oh, man, you know, that's Migo slang and all that. But they don't really know or yeah. realize niggas been saying that shit. Yeah, for you sure. know, they for just sure. made it popular. For sure. But um, it's one of my, like, club bangers that I like. I like the, the energy that it give off. And it was just something that's, like, secret to boss and body in the track. Well, uh, who produced it? Uh, Doula, actually. Um, shout out to Doula. He uh, he do all the uh, duct tape stuff. Okay. Yeah, he do um, a lot of truck stuff. Okay. Introduce yeah. it for us. Let's break. Hey, you already know this. You get the boss off in this thing. Yeah, that way, my new single, you already know what it is. You heard? Right here. I'm telling you, hey, hey yo. they, they, I love the energy on it. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. Every time I play it, we get we get good responses, good feels. Every like any time I play it, and the DJ don't know it, the DJ be like, "Man, who's that?" Like, that's what's up. I think I think that's a good song. I, I've been telling you that from the day one, though. Yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling you to push that one and the trouble <laughs> one. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah, that's that's my yep. shit. Okay, I said it. I ain't gonna lie, but um, so let's let's just get into it. Like, is there an album? Out here somewhere, mix. Honestly, I, I've been seeing I've been seeing you get a lot of features with like, especially like the Carolina DJs. Yeah. Um, I've been seeing mixtapes being dropped. Yeah. I've been seeing your name in a lot of places. I'm just wondering so. if we if we gonna get an album mixtape. Honestly, I know uh, for sure I'm gonna drop an EP this year. Okay. Um. I'm going to start working on my album. I got a few tracks, but I'm still trying to get that feel, like mm -hmm. what I want to you know, showcase. Trying to find that sound. To, yeah, and okay. I think I, I feel like I need to work with a few more producers as well just okay. to develop a few things and find some uh, some different type of swags. You, you know, have to each, put your watch up like that. You heard oh, my eyes. bad. I <laughs> blowing my own <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, it's a lot of producers that I do want to work with. Mm, um, like who? That's uh, Derage. Definitely want to work with uh, okay. Derage. Um I want to work with uh, who else? I want to work with. Give me three producers and five artists you want to work with. Put you on the spot right here. Let's see. All right, artist wise, let me go with the artist first. Mm -hmm. Um, I say, damn, who do I want to work with? Uh, I say I want to do something with. Cause I'm trying to be realistic. <laughs> nah, I be, somebody that's relevant. You nah, know? you know, dude. Like I feel like whoever you feel like your sound just matches anybody? with. No, I mean I'm not gonna say just anybody, okay, but somebody right. who your sound matches with, or you know, y'all to make a good collab, or it'll just take you up through there. Um. Uh, well, I know, like I said, I do want to try and do some with Dro for okay. you that way. Um. It would be cool to get a track with T.I. eventually sometime. That's hard. You know, because he hard. always, everything yeah. he blessed, like, yeah. you know. He's hard, though. Yeah. That's, that's Atlanta. Yeah. If you're um, Atlanta, you got to do Atlanta. Right, right. Um, of course, like a, a Migos or something. Yeah. Even if it's one Migos or all three of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much they tax it for all three of them. Might just got to get one of them. But um, I say, I do like a lot of female artists, mm. too. Uh I do dig Megan the Stallion little track, yeah. so I think, and I like her sound. Yeah. Like it's a little bit different. She hot. It'd be she cool hot. to, um, you know, do something with her. Uh, there's a lot of local artists too that's that's up and coming that I like. Um, a couple of them coming out the Carolinas, but eventually, mm -hmm. probably, uh, definitely want to do something with the baby. Okay, most um, definitely. Shout out to the baby. Yeah, definitely want to do something thing. with him. Definitely probably want to do something with Yellow Beezy. Um, just cause you know I like I like a lot of their sounds yeah, and the swag they give on the track. That's hard. Um, YK Osiris doing his little, you know. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
and that's a little bit different. I like something that's different, that's so different, I can put yeah. my swag with it, I see how it. it work out. I mean, and I think in this point of the, at this point of the game, you have to be different. You have to find that different lane, like stay in your lane, but make it a right. little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. So, being a female artist, how does it feel? Like, how does the climate feel for female artists right now in the game for you? Well, you know, like, with Cardi B coming out. Like, Nicki yeah. was cool, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nicki, I love yeah. that. But Cardi B came and just shattered all kind of glass ceilings. <laughs> so it's like, I see more and more females, like, especially, like, when I first started, didn't see as much. But yeah. now and now, you see more and more females. Most but, definitely. Um, it's, I, I heard, like, some really dope, like, I heard some trash, but I heard some, yeah. like, some real dope females, honestly. But, like, so how does it, like, because, you know, again, this is a male dominated yeah. industry how does it make you feel when like like i hear niggas say it all the time like man i don't want to hear no female on no record like yeah. i don't want to hear nothing about no pussy popping i don't want to right. hear nothing about i'm gonna come on your lip but right. you know yeah, that that you wild that. Shit. yeah so it's like how does that make you feel like because of course you're not coming out talking like that but right i know. feel like i got an advantage yeah. in a sense because I'm probably going to say more stuff that a nigga going to say anyways, you yeah. know, just in general, like my perspective probably going to be that way toward a lot of stuff, and yeah. especially like street shit, mm-hmm. and, you know, whatever. But in general, I like to have a message in my music and, you know, at least say something like make a statement about myself mm-hmm. or at least do something creative. But I feel like uh, it being in the male dominated industry, um, you do get a lot of slack because most guys are going to think off top, like, oh, hell nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> nah, I don't even, you know. But surprisingly, whenever I get up and do my thing, and I don't like to be, like, cocky or nothing yeah, like yeah. that. I like to be approachable. So when I get up and do my thing, I always try and vibe, and I always try and see who's vibing and yeah. stuff like that. But I get a, a good vibe from the guys, though. Yeah. Because I think it's, since it's not, you know, if you want to rap it, you can rap it and still be hard. Yeah. It ain't like you rapping yeah. City Girls or some yeah. shit, you know. <laughs> right. But that's, that's I mean, but you, I didn't see a whole lot of niggas nah, on videos. Hey, 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 I am I know you the DJ, seen it. Right. okay, I done right. seen plenty niggas, I tell people all the time, I done seen niggas singing city girls as hard as they rap, right. Mills, Dreams and Nightmares, Doing head like that's their shit, like, like shit the girls crazy. is in the corner popping that ass and them niggas is on the other side popping that <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying, it's just like... This shit is a little right. You know what it's suspect. Like it's, it's a like, little whoa. sprinkles in this motherfucker. Right, like nigga, how you acting all hard? Got a Hennessy bottle in your hand. And you nigga the city got the girl. Hennessy bottle popping that city girl and shit. Right. I don't know, man. This shit is a little right. It's a little, little different little in Atlanta. Little, <laughs> shit, that's everywhere. Damn. Yeah, you're right though, because I saw uh, some college kids. Yeah. Video yeah, all see, grouping I know, them. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I was like, was oh crazy, shit. Though. Shit started me. <sighs> City girls is taking the fuck over. So right. like, like even with that type of shit going on though, like that's kind of like the representation we see for female hip hop right now. Yeah. That we see, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like there's plenty of artists out here who's not necessarily on that scale. But so like, how does that make you feel like you have to come? Honestly, whenever I like to try and if I feel like if I'm gonna get that demographic. Um, like I want to win you over with my art, but still I can go ahead and get a feature or do a feature or collab yeah. with a female artist that's super dope and be able to still, you know, tap into that genre too. Because like you said, it is a whole lot of females that's rapping about all kind of sexual this and purses and all kind of shit that, you know what I'm saying? Chanel bags and shit. Like even the niggas though, <laughs> rapping about all kind of shit. And I'm like, you know, like I try and. I mean, I want to rap about, you know, similar shit, but yeah. I, don't, I don't like that that same vibe. Because, I mean... We're not going to see Secret pop out with the... Nah. With the shit. <laughs> you're not finna, nope. You're not going to see that. And then, like I said, I like something that everybody can vibe to. Because yeah. I don't want to... Like, somebody got to play my song, and I see a video of a nigga rapping my song, and that shit sound... You know, yeah, it don't look it's right. It's just like, like uh, nah. Niggas. I want it to be right. You got to yeah. be jamming yeah. and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. But um, for the most part, I just... Like, I uh, performed at uh, pregame this past weekend. Shout out to pregame. Shout yeah. out to Cutthroat. Shout out to, uh, yeah, Cutthroat was in the building. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to Mike Mars. He was okay. in the building. Um, shout out to Mike Mars. Yeah, DJ AC Slater. Uh, shout out to uh, Slater and my people. Right. Okay. L- Lotto Savage uh, yeah, DJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout out to Lotto there. Savage. Right. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, fuck but, it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, um, there was a chick there from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And... 
like just hearing her, seeing her vibe and all that stuff. She rap about she rap about some street stuff, but it's more, you know, female oriented mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like uh hearing her, I you know, cuz when I I watched her perform and then she watched me perform, we kind of gravitated to each other. Yeah. And you know, I went and like hit her up like, "Hey, you know, hey, I'm digging your sound. Like, hey, let's link, let's do yeah. some." Cuz you know, a lot of females like to be catty and stuff like that. I feel like it ain't got to be no competition. If we both super dope, we can both put something together and push it together, I mean, you know? I, I, and I don't know, maybe it's the female nature. I, I haven't gotten that far into my I thought. think it is, yeah. But at the same time, it's almost like the window is really small, so y'all got to be a lot more competitive. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like dudes where, you know, one dude to bring 10 dudes. Like, I've yet to see a female bring, bring a female. T- yeah. You're right. Maybe yeah, that need man. to be the new trend. Maybe that. I mean, know, yeah, that'd be hard. Because, right. But I've never ever seen a I female seen that either. say, This is my artist. And it'd be a female. You right. You know what You're I'm right. saying? Yeah. Like, I've You're never right. seen that. Like, so I don't know if that's a female nature or it just is the industry that and competitive I mean, for y'all. I feel like the window is small, but if you bring in something different, like, I feel like the females, a lot of them talk about the same shit. So okay. if you that's on a, that same. That's a fact. Right. If you want, if, I guess it's going to be hard if you, everything you talk about is being a bad bitch and you're trying to bring out another bad bitch. I mean, like, how much can you, bring out you know, ugly very, bitch. right. <laughs> like, uh, you know. Bring a Maybe a big bitch. bitch or something like that, or I don't know. Like, but that's how I look at it. I mean, it's kind of like you're gonna bring out somebody that's. I mean, unless your swag, your style is different and yeah. your swag different. Like, you know, city girls. It's two of them, but like you said, they're a group and yeah. shit. They. they I do don't their see thing. them. I don't see them starting a label, signing right. artists, I don't and bringing. Like, I I don't see. I haven't seen it happen once. Not one female then bossed up and did that type of shit. But I want to know, like, what what would it even take? Like, what kind of what kind of respect level would you have to have for the female to for her to bring an artist out? You know what I'm saying? I think it's a lot of uh, lot built on trust because you could start, you know, bringing somebody out and then. If they buzz get bigger or, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what the problem is with a lot of females. They don't, you know, and that's what dudes that a, too, is that but a, I mean, I was going to say, so is, that like, is that necessarily a bad thing? Because right. if your buzz get bigger than mine, you still sign to me. Right, so exactly. So my paycheck getting a little and that's bigger, my. I think know. it's just more of an ego thing. Like, uh-huh. everybody want to be on top, be the top dog. Maybe a female might not feel like she the baddest bitch if it seemed like one better than... Because you see how everybody pit Nikki and Cardi together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They yeah. always putting them against each other. And yeah. I mean, they ain't shit, never they had to do Nikki nothing, you know? everybody. Right. Peripheral. Right. And so I think with that sense, that's probably going to be, you know, the reason why another female wouldn't bring another... I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that shit. Especially that if shit, the female dope. That shit would be... It's just crazy. Like, I don't know. That shit wild. Yeah, like I never even really thought about that, but I did, and it just it just so happened to dawn on me that I just had never like you know like I said like uh, any artist that I can think of male wise has an artist under him like exactly that's my man's hundred yep. grand you know what I'm saying he riding right you know what I'm saying but I don't I don't recall a woman ever co signing another I was woman. trying to think my own self yeah, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think that's ever happened that's crazy so. Being an artist. Actually, wait. Uh, left Eye brought out black. Left Eye did bring out black. You right. I think that'll probably be the only one. Uh, yeah, Left Eye was real. She was true yep, for that. Left for Eye real. brought out black. Okay. Right, and put her own self on their okay. shit and let them get okay. big. Yeah, that's, that's about the only one I think okay. of. I didn't think about that one. It, it's so unspoke of, but yeah. that's hard. Left and I think I what, Beyonce got Chloe and Hallie? Those uh, do they two. count? I mean, are they are they recording already? I thought they were actresses. I don't they, know. Yeah. Oh, they recording artists. Okay. Mhm. Shout out. Those about probably the only two that I could think okay. of. And Beyonce, you know, she had the. Uh, but we girl. Both, we are talking about two two singing situations. Right. We're not talking right. about any rap. No rappers. No, we ain't got no, no rap. rappers. Damn. You know what I'm saying we are talking about singing situations. Yep. That's a totally different ball game. Yeah. Damn. Hey, man. Somebody got boss up there. Somebody got to boss up. All these bad bitches out here. All these boss right. bitches out here. Somebody and ain't nobody boss bossed up. up nobody. <laughs> God. That shit crazy. So, being in this industry, as cutthroat as it is, do you have, like, any fears as an artist? I mean, 
at this day and time, like anything can change. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like you got to know and trust the people that's around you. Um, probably don't want to have a lot of people around you because I feel like that's probably the main thing to put somebody around you that don't really have your that, best interest or don't even need to be around. Right, you. like they have no purpose around you. Exactly, and I think that's that's probably like my biggest fear because I don't want to waste time and effort yeah. with nobody. <clears throat> I also don't want to have. Uh, Somebody around me that's going to plot on me. Yeah. You know? And I feel like that's one of the main things uh, as an artist. Mm -hmm. You have to watch the company you keep and always watch your surroundings. Most definitely. I would say that would probably be the only only thing. Because money-wise, balancing, making sure all that stuff. We know you got that. I mean, nah, it ain't. It's just like you got to keep it organized. That's another fear, though. You know, that most artists would have like, damn, if I go broke or if I don't get to jump how I need to and I don't put all this money. Like, I don't want to have no regrets. Yeah. But I also want to like, you can't you can't uh, be scared to spend money. That's a fact. Scared money don't make no money. Right. That's a big dog fact. Right. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So let's talk about this trouble record. What we got going on with this trouble record? All right. Um, This one, me and Trub was just on some, on some shit, just like some street gospel. Uh, Just pretty much talking about everyday life, Um, not being too specific, but Mm. trying to swag it out a little bit and give you just something cool, real chill, laid back to listen to. That's why I like it, because you can still bump it in the club, Mm. still be, you know, whatever. It's a little slower, Um, not really like no no club track, but... No, it's a club track. Fuck that. Okay. It's hard. All right, I fuck with it, dude. I like it. Yeah, me too. And I mean, (laughs) a lot of, yeah, like I ain't really, you know, I just, you know, kind of sample it out there and stuff like that, but... Everybody that I let hear it, like, oh, shit, like, you need to push that. So, yeah. that's what I started doing. All right, introduce it. You already know this, man. Secret the Boss, a.k.a. That Girl Secret. We got Light featuring Trouble. Yes, sir. Let's get it. You know I'm so with the shit. 